thing is, the hollowness usually is the result of loss of volume. So usually you correct that with figures. And I'm involved in the, in the group. We're just going to publish a paper on a protocol of combining treatments with toxins, energy devices, pillars, and threads. It's going to be published very soon. It's already accepted, so I'm just waiting for it to be published. And, and what, what we come up is a group of physicians that come together and we try to decide to, to have a protocol for the upper, upper part of the face, so mainly, mainly the brow, forehead, and temples, for the mid face, cheeks, cheekbones, the nasal folds, and the nose, and the same thing for the jawline and chin, and also for the neck. The thing is, combination treatment is very, very powerful the way we do it. Thread lift for the eyebrows, though, doesn't work for a long time. So one of the problems I have with it is it tends to, the results are not long, long uh, lasting because there's nothing to fix the brows. The brows is a structure that is a, it's from, it's a skin, it's from a, it's a skin structure. Is hair we have in the skin. There's nothing to fix the brows in place. What happens is when the skin on the forehead starts to sag a little bit, they come down. And some people want to get the brow lift to correct the eyelids because they have some excess skin on the eyelids. That's a different story. And by lifting the brows, you just can stretch a little bit on the side, but not much on the eyelids. So if you have excess skin on the eyelids, that's the surgical procedure. It's called a blepharoplasty, and the results are really good with a very minimal downtime. The brow lift, usually I have to combine Botox and the threads. Just the thread by itself doesn't work. So we have a combination of that. And of course, you can balance the, uh, the upper part of the face, or so the upper, upper third, and the hollowness under the eyes and over the cheeks. Definitely, it's, it's beautiful. Usually that's where the treatment become really good, is when you start combining different techniques. Because also at the same time, I can reduce the amount of fillers I'm using because I'm also reposition volume, I can also reduce the amount of toxins and, and all that. So we, we, by combining them, we are not just relying in one factor, we are relying on different mechanism of action and being able to get a better result with more natural result. Because that's the idea. 